So, recently I was scrolling through AliExpress. The store algorithm was showing me many different things. Cheap electronics, bootleg toys, items which names I can mention the first 5 minutes of this video if I want to be monetized, you know, normal stuff. But then I saw this. Stock Titans Return LG31 KO Fortress Head Maximus Action Figure Collection Figures Ornamental Model Statue Toys. At first I thought it's some third party Legends class toy or like masterpiece on bootleg something anything. But out of curiosity, I decided to check it out, and it's literally just the LG version of Cerebros. My curiosity spiked, cause third party companies don't really like making chuck scaled figures, even if they are just bootlegs. It's always either Legends class or Masterpiece, with nothing in between. So I checked all the options, looked through the stores, activated all my like different coupons, cashbacks and other stuff in the background, I filled out my details and pressed buy. A few weeks later, a weird black bag arrived at my doorstep. I'm sure that if the app didn't inform me it's the toy, I would think it's some sort of a trap or a threat. So, let's open it up. After filleting up the box, we see another box, wrapped in plastic bubble wrap. Under the bubble we get a little box based on the one San Diego Comic Con Fortress Maximus came in. It's nice blue and the print and the off. Ooh. On the back of it, we have a bunch of contact info like the address and manufacturer. I don't know if I can legally show it here, but it does give us some interesting info. Like, this is technically seen as an action figure for 15 year olds, it was manufactured in September 2023. And the production team had a distribution team in Germany. I know it's really not that important, but it's really interesting info that we don't get a lot for other third party companies. So let's open it up. First we need to remove the protective art sleeve and we just get a blank blue box with some shoddy print quality. Inside of it we have a plastic throw with an instructions sheet of 100% not stolen screenshot of Legends Fortress. Instructions are also one to one copy of the official one, written in three different languages, which I'm sure I'm a bit too white to know, I'm really sorry please don't murder me in the comments. And finally here he is, Fortress! And it's also the Legends mode, one to one from what I see. Sadly I don't have the original fortress from Japan so I can't compare him, but I will use some photos from the internet. And I will also compare him to my Hasbro released Cerebros. And like, of course he doesn't have the out of the logo cause that's trademarked. It also doesn't have any electronics, which probably explains its really small price. So it feels like weirdly light compared to the official release. Another unique thing that it comes with a small version of the Master Blade. I'm not sure if it's the KO of the official one. 
but it's nice to have it in any other way, since the official released one was only as a promotional bonus in some special releases of Fortress Maximus. As I mentioned earlier, this toy is based on the Japanese Legends Fortress, not the American Cerebros, so he's mostly white and grey instead of black and blue. The head is a mixture of Cyberdroid instead of a robotized Spike with Wiki. He's the leader of the Autobot Headmasters after Rodimus flies off to find planet Micro and not the peace-loving Autobot. He appeared in many episodes of the Transformers Headmasters series instead of the few episodes of the fourth season Rebirth miniseries. You know, they're pretty different characters. That's also pretty interesting that they have so many differences. So yeah, transformation is the same. Fortress just turns from a robot into a massive head slash computer. Wait, for some reason the ears are mounted backwards in my release. Well, don't worry, it's just easy to flip them over and here he is. You can see the differences between the Hasbro Cerebros and the scale Fortress. As I mentioned earlier with the lack of electronics, this KO Fortress feels like a bit lighter. Also, here's a comparison of the robot modes. You can see the many color differences. It's amusing in retrospective that one changed the 80s to animate something more easy on a celluloid sheet, reverbs into making two toys look so different, they can be different characters. Also, the head and sword are interchangeable. The molding is the same between both of the hands and headmaster ports. There's also a closer comparison between Fortress and Spike, mostly the same toy, just with a different backpack and a few colors. So, this was KO Fortress, and does he match my clickbaity title? In my opinion, yes. Let me explain. Fortress is the leader of the Autobot Headmasters in the Transformers Headmasters TV show, which of course makes him one of the more important characters in the series. The issue was, to get this toy you also need to get the few hundred quid power armor, which most of the time is stuck in spaceship mode and he brings it out only during combat. So what if you just wanted the toy of their leader to sit next to the Headmasters going on some adventures in your backyard or something? You were kinda screwed if you didn't have the money. But with this KO, you can 100% finish up your Headmasters on a pretty low budget. It's also a great custom folder for different Fort Max repaints. If you want to make them from the official one, you would need to pay thousands. But now, you can just pay around 10 quid from AliExpress and get a pretty cool toy. So now, Plasma, Braver, Garn, Shattered Glass Fortress Maximus, the choices are yours. A really cool bootleg that does the job filling a niche on the budget. Not gonna lie, I hope the trend of KOing in all the extra accessory figures becomes a bit of a thing in the Transformers toy making world. I would love to complete my Scamper, a full tilt to customize into Legend Sershot, a Zarak, oh, oh maybe mainframe with G1 colors please. Either way, thank you for watching, and to like, subscribe, recommend the videos, and bye.